Hey, what's up everybody? So uh, by now, I am sure that if you have not been living under a rock, uh, pretty much everybody in the Christian space is aware of the sexual misconduct allegations that have now been confirmed by Ravi Zacharias International Ministries as a result of an extensive uh, investigation that they did. And um, this is such a very, very sad situation. And so many people have reached out to me via email or Instagram or Facebook saying, hey, Brother Allen, what is your take on this? How come you haven't spoken out about it? Are you going to do a video on this? And so I just want to take a few moments and explain why I have not posted about the Ravi Zacharias scandal. Let me give you three reasons. Uh, first and foremost, I basically felt like many of my friends in the Christian YouTube space did a great job of covering this topic from the beginning of the story when we didn't really know what the some of uh, the some of the allegations were and whether they were um, you know just alleged or whether they were actually true all the way up until uh, recently where the organization itself came out and confirmed that yes things were actually worse than we actually thought that they were so some of my friends like John McRae over at, uh, what do you mean? Uh, Melissa Doherty, Alyssa Childers, and others, Mike Winger, have done excellent jobs in covering this topic. And so I didn't want to just kind of jump on the bandwagon and put a video out just because I wanted to get something out and catch a trend and, and whatnot. I just didn't feel like I had anything unique to say that had not already been covered by some of my other friends in the Christian YouTube space. Now, the second reason why I really didn't post about this until now is really because I was convicted, if I'm honest with you about it, because in the past, when I've put out videos about different people, let's say it's uh, the firing of Carl Lentz uh, from Hillsong Church, I was convicted because I spent more time trying to get this video out in time and craft this video and put together this perfect video so that I could communicate to the world what my thoughts were on it. I spent a whole lot more time doing that than I did actually praying for the person that I was posting for. And I said to myself, I don't want to do that again. I don't want to just put out a video and then be guilty of not spending time in prayer. So let me just challenge all of my Christian YouTube friends. And this is not judgment because I've done this so many times before when I put a video out uh, and I've mentioned someone by name. I want to challenge us all and really ask this question. How much time have you really spent on your knees praying for the person that you're putting the video out on, right? How much, how much time compared to the time that we're spending as YouTubers um, preparing our videos and making sure that they're perfect and coming up with all of our thoughts and our arguments and all this stuff, like how much time have we really gotten down on our knees and say, okay, God, I need to pray for this particular situation. And then I'm gonna throw it back to all of you who are viewing these videos that are going viral, right? We love scandal, we love drama, we love all that stuff. But how much time have you as a viewer on YouTube who's consumed a lot of this content, how much time have you actually spent praying for all those who are involved, which we're gonna do together in just a moment. So that was another main reason why I just didn't feel comfortable posting this time about Robbie Zacharias because I just felt like, man, you know, I haven't even really, if I'm being honest, I haven't really spent a ton of time in prayer for all those who've been affected. And then the third reason is because I never really had that personal impact with Robbie Zacharias. I was aware of him, obviously, in the Christian space. I respected him greatly as a leader in the Christian apologetic space, but I can't really say that he impacted my life in the same way that he may have impacted some of my other friends in the YouTube space, uh, their lives. And so I didn't feel emotionally connected to the story. I wasn't devastated when I heard the news because I, I just wasn't really following Ravi in that way. And so those are the reasons why I didn't really post anything about this particular scandal. Now, with all of that being said, I don't wanna be a hypocrite. I want to be a man of my word. And so I want to encourage all of us to join right now as you're watching this video, join with me in a word of prayer. And we're going to pray for four different groups of people. Number one, we're going to pray for Ravi Zacharias International Ministries. 
Number two, I want you to pray for his family members who have been impacted by this. Number three, I want you to pray for the victims and all the women that have been sexually uh, um, abused and uh, uh, as, at the hand of Ravi. And then number four, I want to pray for all of his followers who have been devastated by this particular news. So would you just join me wherever you are right now? Just let's all touch and agree and let's spend some time in prayer. God, I just pray right now for Ravi Zacharias International Ministries. God, I, I can't imagine what they are going through right now after hearing uh, the uh, the alleged, uh, all of the different alleged misconduct that's come up now, Lord, and now coming to the surface that through this investigation that it is actually true. So God, I just pray that uh, the leaders, as they move forward, God, that you'd give them wisdom to know how to proceed, Lord, as they deal with the shock of their uh, beloved leader and the sexual misconduct, God. I pray that you would allow them to have wisdom to know uh, who they need to bring in and, and, and Lord, how they need to proceed as a result of this. God, I pray right now for his family. I pray for his wife who must be absolutely devastated to have found out after his death that the man that she loved and thought he was isn't the man that uh, that he claimed to be. Lord, I pray that you would protect her heart right now. I pray that you would surround her with brothers and sisters in Christ who can be there for her during this time, God. I pray, Lord, that you would guide her and give her wisdom. I pray that you would guard her heart against anger and bitterness and unforgiveness, Lord, because she can't even make things right with her uh, deceased husband, God. So I just pray for protection. I pray for his daughter. I pray for his other um, family members, Lord, who now have to deal with the reality of a tarnished legacy, God. So I just pray right now, Lord, that you would just gather your people around them and comfort them so that they can know your presence is near, Lord. I pray, Lord, for all those who are victims of his sexual misconduct, God. And I pray for many people who didn't believe their stories, Lord, many people who didn't believe that what they were saying was true. Lord, I pray that whatever shame they had to go through, Lord, that you would erase that shame. Whatever, um, whatever embarrassment that they had to experience, Lord, because people didn't take their story seriously. I pray that you would remove it right now in the name of Jesus, God. And I pray for their healing right now, Lord. I pray, Lord, that as they pick up the pieces of their life and they move forward, Lord, in you, the Lord, that you would restore their self-esteem. You'd restore their sexual purity. You would restore everything that has been taken away from them. And finally, God, I pray for all of the followers of Ravi Zacharias, Lord. I know there are are millions of people around the world that are devastated by this reality, Lord. But I pray, Lord, that right now, as the hymn says, that we would turn our eyes upon Jesus. Lord, I pray that we would focus our eyes and our attention right now, Lord, on the only person who is perfect, the only person that we can put up on a pedestal, the only person, God, who will not let us down, Lord, the only person that will never leave us nor forsake us, which is Jesus, Lord. So, God, I pray right now that their faith, while it may be shattered right now, I pray, God, that they would be restored stored because they would look to you, the author and the finisher of their faith. Lord, we ask all these things in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you to continue to pray for Ravi Zacharias, his family, his organization, his followers, and everyone who's been involved by this particular uh, scandal. So, that's the reasons why I didn't post until now, but I felt like it was appropriate for me to post now and, um, and offer a prayer for all those who are involved. God bless everybody. Continue to pray. See you next time.